Stay classy. Good morning, Rangers. We are back with another spectacular CTV. Tomorrow we got L Pizza. So bring your dough. Hey, Rangers, it's Pizza Thursday, so make sure you get your pizza at lunch. The prices are $3 for one slice, $5 for two slices, and $14 for a box. Happy Pizza Thursday! Today there will be fitting for letter jackets. See Miss Heiser if you have any questions. And girls golf will have t a tea time at 8 a.m. Tomorrow boys baseball will be having their home tournament. Games will be at 11 and 4, so make sure to come support at the afternoon game. And varsity track will be at Maid Creek. And then we got Cheddarberry with the forecast. Do y'all like clouds? Because personally, I don't like them. They're always throwing shade. Speaking of clouds, today's going to be very cloudy with a high of 63 and a low of 45 with a 79% chance of precipitation. Now back to the anchors. Wow. Monumental gracias. Indeed, sir. Please congratulate the Clements Theater students who placed first at UIL one-act play zone contest Monday night. Lord, I think your team is about it. Now we got Yusuf with the Pluto News. Hello, this is Yusuf World News. First from ABC. More than 2 million people had fled Ukraine to neighboring countries. Next from BBC. Scientists found after a mild infection with COVID, the size of the brain can shrink slightly. Lastly from IGN. The Batman earned $128 million in the biggest opening weekend of 2022 so far. That's all for World News. Now back to anchors. Did someone turn up the heat? Because that was flames. Wee -oo, wee -oo. And happy birthday to Mr. Russo. Have a great day. As you know, your Clement swim team dominated that state, taking home multiple medals. Now we have a clip going over their huge success in Austin. Well, good morning, Rangers. A couple weeks ago, your Rangers were in Austin competing for the state title. Let's check in on their success. Today I'm here with Kevin Zhao, Hayden Blotti. Okay, Kevin, how did it feel to break the state record in prelims and come home with some hardware? I mean, it feels great. I mean, our hard work really paid off in the end. And then in finals, we just came back with some hardware, but it's fine because everybody showed up and we just, we tried our best. I think that's the best part of swimming. Okay, Hayden, fifth in the 50 freestyle and seventh in the 100. How do you feel about your great performances? Yeah, I mean, I had a lot of fun during both of those races. I'm not like completely satisfied, so maybe we'll come back next year and do better. That's what we like to hear. Rangers, I'm here with... Coach Neal. But what separated this team from previous teams? This team has a lot of mental toughness. They dealt with uh, COVID and all the problems that threw at them last year. And then this year, our natatorium was under construction. They were swimming outside in the dark in 30 degree weather. And I think this is one of the most mentally tough teams that I have had the pleasure to coach. How are you able to prepare them for such historic success? Well, first acknowledging that these kids are swimming 15, 20 hours a week. And I think my job as a coach is to offer that support to them, to understand that they are student athletes and they're dealing with a lot of stressors in their life. So knowing when these kids need a little slack and also when to push them harder. All right, Rangers, I'm here with Alex Fu. How did it feel to finally make podium after your senior year? It felt really great. I mean, it's been four years of really hard work to get here, and um, I had a ton of t uh, tough competition this year, so it was really great to kind of finally come on top. I'm here with Logan Brown. Logan Brown is the 6A state champion swimmer for the 100 breaststroke. So Logan, you won first in the 100 breast and second in the 200 IM. How do you feel about your great performances? Uh, it was a great feeling. After prelims, I was just looking forward to finals and having fun and just trying to swim faster. What are your thoughts going into your last year swimming for Clements? We're about to run it back next year. We're going to try and improve from fourth place and just have some more fun. I'm here with Kayla. What was going through your mind dominating prelims and getting first in each heat? 
Um, I was I was surprised. I didn't think I'd win. Um, I was like kind of impressed, so I didn't think I would perform that well. But I was happy with what I, how I performed. What were the key contributors and main factors to your success as only a sophomore? Um, I would definitely say my teammates and my coaches. I would say more of my teammates because they're always there for me and they're always like supporting me. I would mainly say Allison. Yeah, and also Coach Neil. And third and final question. If me and you swam right now, do you think you could win? Sorry. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sorry, Kate. Yeah. Okay, back to the anchors. Well, Sally, that'll be all for our show. Always remember, William P. Stay classy.